Okay. Uh, section 2.4, higher degree polynomial equations. So this is equations that have g to the fourth, g or x cubed, something like that. Any, something higher than a, than a squared. And you're going to use the same techniques as what you've done, um, as what you've done in the last uh, in section 2.3. Um, and again, so it's not very long. It's only these three problems. Okay, so the, the things that you're going to really have to do is you're going to either going to have to factor it. Okay, uh, you could factor one thing out. Uh, you could do, um, or you could, you could try to factor from the beginning. But if it has common, uh, gray mist common factor, you need to get that out of there. Okay, so the one we're going to start with is, is 3x cubed. I need, again, I need to put everything on one side, so plus 15x squared, and then I'm going to minus the 18x over. Now, what goes into each thing? Well, 3 does. 3 goes into each number, and also x. So I could pull out a 3x, and then I'm left with x squared plus 5x uh, minus 6. And again, I did that because 18 divided by 3 is 6, 15 divided by 3 is 5, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay. And I still set it equal to 0. Now I can factor this portion too. So 3x, um, x and x. Okay. Uh, what two numbers multiply up to negative 6 but add up to 5? That'd be positive 6 and negative 1. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then you set each one equal to zero. So 3x is equal to zero. So x is equal to zero on that one. x plus 6 equals zero. So that means x is equal to negative 6. And then x minus 1 is equal to zero. So that means x is equal to 1. So my solution set is x is equal to uh, negative 6, 0, 1. And again, all I did was put them in order from least to greatest. Okay. So notice I get three answers on this and notice the highest power is three. Okay. So however, however big your highest power is, that's how many answers you should come up with at the end. Okay. So X cubed would be three answers. X to the fourth. I'm going to be looking for four answers on this one. Okay. Uh, down here cubed. I'm looking for three answers on this one. Okay. So remember that the highest power is how many solutions you're going to have. This one. Well, there's nothing in front of the z to the fourth. So let's see if I can go z squared. Z squared. Okay, because the middle term is z squared. Um, two numbers that multiply up to negative 25, but add up to 24. Um, let me go plus 25, maybe minus one. Negative one times z squared would be negative one. 25, 25 minus one would be 24. All right. So we factored those. Now set each one equal to zero. So z squared plus 25 is equal to zero. And then uh, z squared minus one is equal to zero. And then solve each independently. Okay. So we're going to go back and we're going to use the, the, uh, the square root method on these because there's no z in the middle. So minus 25, so this one, I'm gonna go z squared is equal to negative 25 and then square root it. Remember, anytime I square root that, I need to go plus or minus. So z is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 25. The square root of negative 25 is five i. So z is equal to plus or minus five. So there's two answers, plus 5i, minus 5i. I need two more. Add one. So z squared is equal to one. I'm going to square root that. So z is equal to plus or minus the square root of one. The square root of one is just one. So that means z is equal to plus or minus one. So there's two answers there. So I do end up coming up with four answers. And my answers are going to be, I'm going to put the imaginary ones first. Uh, so the set, 5i, or negative 5i, positive 5i, negative 1, and 1. 
was your five on that one. Okay, the last one. If you're ever given four terms like this one, okay, so we have y cubed, 2y squared minus 36y minus 72. Okay, what they are going to want you to do is group the first two and then group the second two. Okay, so this is called factor by grouping. Now, what goes into both of them in the beginning? So y cubed plus 2y squared. Now I can pull out a y squared and I'm left with y plus two. The second one I could pull out of negative 36y minus 72. I could pull out a negative 36 and I'm left with y plus two. And what you're trying to do when you factor by grouping is get these two the same. So y plus two, because what can I pull out of this term and this term? Well, y plus two, I could pull out y plus two. So y plus two, and then what's left? Y squared minus 36. I can set that equal to zero. And again, I'm looking for y cubed, so that I mean, I'm looking for y and it's y cubed, so I'm looking for three answers. Okay. And so I set the first one, y plus two equals zero. And I do get an answer of y is equal to uh, negative two. And then I'm gonna do the second one, y squared minus 36 is equal to zero. Again, now there's no y in the middle, so I'm gonna use the square root method. So I'm gonna add over 36. So y squared is equal to 36. Square root both sides. So y is equal to plus or minus whatever the square root of 36 is, and that's six. So my answers are going to be y is equal to solution set of negative six, negative two, six. Okay, so that's how they're going to want you to do those. Let me know if you have any questions on 2.4.